Hey guys, this is totally dramatic makeup day because I am testing the new NYX Glitter Goals liquid lipsticks. These are NYX's versions of the Ciate Glitter Flip liquid lipsticks which were all the rage on social media about a year or so ago. Obviously, on first look, these are not natural, subtle looking colours at all. They are very dramatic colours even without the glitter or the metallic shift in them. And the nice thing about these formulas is that they go on like regular metallic chrome matte liquid lipsticks so you can wear them as is without pressing your lips together to flip them. This first shade 01 is called Shimmy. It's a bright vivid red, almost an orange red but it also has a little hint of pink in it so um, I wouldn't call this particularly warm or cool toned, it's just a very bright vivid red. I would say out of all the shades that I tested, this is the one that is the least metallic on its own so when you apply it, it almost looks completely matte but I don't mind because it actually looks really really beautiful on its own as is. There's a subtle tiny bit of a sparkle if you look close uh, which makes it quite nice you know for an evening out and all that if you don't want very dramatic, very glittery looking lips. Time for the flip and nothing. So this one was not flipping very well. I just feel the proportion of matte uh, pigments in the formula is just making the glitter pigments not stand out at all even after pressing your lips together. These are ultimately still liquid to matte lipsticks so the less you disturb them after they set the better it is. Don't keep pressing them together to try and get the shine out. You will just mess up the finish. The second shade is 02 Cherry Quartz and it is a beautiful, cool-toned, rosy berry red. And I really love how this colour looks on its own. I would probably have gotten this shade just to wear as is and I might not have flipped this. Flip time again and... Eh. So this actually turned out to be one of the worst when I tried to flip it and I also did learn um, as I was watching these that you do have to give the liquid lipsticks quite a bit of time to dry down and some shades dry down slower than the others. So the thicker, the more even the coat that you apply, the more time you need to give it to set and lock down before you press your lips together. I will probably test this shade again just to see if it was going all patchy and grabbing in different areas. Just not one of the shades that I can recommend if you want very consistent, very even, glittery results. Number three is called Crystal Crush. This is a raisiny brownie shade with a bit of red and a bit of plum in it and it's also got a beautiful dramatic golden shift. So this is definitely, definitely one of my top picks from the entire line to wear as is on its own without flipping it trying to get the glitter out at all. Having said that, this is still one of the most beautiful shades after you flip it as well. The sparkle just comes through beautifully and you know, it's not giving me a hard time. I'm not having trouble getting the shine to come out and the matte pigments are not going patchy or sticking to one section and not another. So all around, this is a winner whether you want to wear it flipped or not flipped. Number four is this gorgeous magenta pink called Reflector and something about that very blue pearl and it makes me think of, you know, very 80s club colours. Not in a bad way, in a very nice way. And this is very gorgeous if you have cooler to neutral skin undertones. If you have very, very golden or yellow toned skin, this will really pop on your skin. Uh, it's very, very dramatic looking on warmer skin tones though, so not everyone is going to like how it sits against their skin. As for the glitter flip, um, I it's kind of okay. I had to do it a few times just to get the soft blue pearl to come out a little bit more. It wasn't as dramatic or as obvious as I would have liked but the final effect is still okay so I'm gonna give this a pass. A pass as in not a fail. 
This next shade is called Times Infinity, X Infinity, however you want to say it. This is a very, very rich, beautiful royal purple. And yes, it is making me look like Barney with the green hair, but... I still like this color. The problem with purple, of course, is that we all know it is notoriously difficult to formulate very even liquid formulas with rich purples in them. So this is one of those shades where you need to be particularly careful with your application just to make sure everything looks even as it dries down because um, I did apply this and then realized that it was slightly patchy even though I tried to layer a little bit. And once it goes on patchy, when you try to flip it, it starts to look a little bit wonky, a little bit weird because you may not have an even distribution of sparkle across your entire lip. So this was definitely one of the harder shades to work with. I personally found that I liked this shade before flipping anyway. I just feel the effect after flipping was just not worth the trouble. So, you know, this is not my top recommended shade, obviously. Okay, number six is this gorgeous wine or burgundy tone called Bloodstone and this did turn out to be another one of my favourites from the line as well just because it looks so gorgeous all on its own. It's a very dramatic, very vampy, deep, ruby, raisin wine shade and I would just wear this as is without flipping it. Even though I say that, this did turn out to be one of the most beautiful after flipping. In fact, uh, this might be the only shade in the entire collection where I will say the flipped version might actually look better than the original look. So um, definitely, definitely check this one out if you happen to like uh, plummy purplish tones. Of course, not everyone likes this very deep dramatic shade, but I just feel, you know, in terms of the versatility in terms of consistency before and after flipping. This is just one of the best in the entire collection. This next shade is number 7, Amethyst Vibes. And this is one of the most fun shades in the entire line because it's a very, very blue violet with pale silvery blue shift to it. So it does look very dramatic if you wear it right. Of course the issue with it is also that this does go on kind of sheer and you do need to be a bit more careful during the application process just to make sure that you build up pigmentation evenly and that you do not make your entire lip look a bit patchy. This is one of those shades that you definitely need to apply two coats of before it sets just to make sure that you get the best results when you flip it and flip it you should because this looks so good when you flip it the silvery blue sparkles all come right out so it kind of looks like you have the midnight sky on your mouth when you wear this shade of course because it's so blue it's going to really stand out against the skin it is going to look very very dramatic when you wear this other than the warning to just be very careful during the application process and make sure that you do not give yourself a very patchy and an uneven looking mouth i'm all for this shade number eight is called alienated this is a deep gunmetal gray and i'm just gonna come straight out and say that this should just be worn as is and don't bother flipping it at all this is so dramatic looking and so beautiful if you like that deep gray lip the issue is once you try to flip it this is another one of those shades that goes completely patchy it starts to look sheer in areas some of the pigments lift off and stick to the other lip and it was just all around not worth the trouble trying to flip this at all. Uh, I look like I just kissed the asphalt or something. I have pink lips with grey on them. This last shade I'm swatching today is called 09 Oil Spill and this is one of the colours that surprised me the most when I applied it. It looks black in the tube but once it goes on the mouth you can see there is this deep midnight navy shift, a metallic sheen to it that is just so absolutely gorgeous. I was speechless and I couldn't stop staring at my mouth when I first applied this and it was drying down. I had such high hopes for this and then I flipped it and uh, the sparkle and that gorgeous blue shift 
just disappeared. I don't know what it is about this formula, but instead of bringing the glitter out, pressing my lips together actually removed the glitter and brought the black matte pigments out instead. So I just ended up with what looked like mostly a black liquid lipstick. I still like this shade enough to say go and check it out if you're looking for a very dark or black liquid lipstick with a little bit of a difference. Just try not to press your lips together. So what do I think of these overall? I think every single colour is amazing before the flip. So if you're just going to buy these because you like the colour, you like the slight metallic shift to them, and you're just going to wear them as is without pressing your lips together to get the glitter pigments out, then these are all beautiful. I have to say every single shade. It's very edgy, it's very daring, it's very dramatic, but the colours are just so nice. The issue though is the flip is a little bit inconsistent, so if you want to wear them for that very dramatic sparkly effect, then the three shades that I feel right now work very well are uh, 03 Crystal Crush. This is that deep raisin bronze with a very beautiful gold shift. Um, also Bloodstone number 6. So I loved this deep sort of burgundy wine tone and then it has a beautiful very even flip as well and then of course the last shade is number seven amethyst vibes this one on a little bit sheer than the other two but it flipped consistently it was very smooth um, when you press your lips together to get the sparkle out I think the difficulty with formulating things like these is you are mixing essentially matte pigments as well as very chunky sparkly glitter pigments and that's where things can potentially go wrong because you are essentially working with two different types of pigments that perform very differently on the lips. Plus, you're suspending them in a liquid to matte formula that sets. And you have to let them set, but then after that, you're trying to shift the pigments around, change the appearance a little bit, and it just doesn't always work out. Now, I haven't tried the Ciate Glitter Flip liquid lipsticks, so I can't really do a comparison and say which one is better. So I'm just basing my opinion off these, purely off uh, the nine shades that I've tried from the NYX um, Glitter Goals range. And uh, these are just my thoughts on which of the shades perform well and which do not. Also, you have to bear in mind that these are still matte liquid lipsticks. So if you were to apply any other matte liquid lipstick, let it dry and then start pressing your lips together, you are likely to start getting issues like, you know, patchiness around the inner corners, things skunking up here. Um, in fact, it's already feeling a little bit uncomfortable in the corners of my mouth because I can feel chunks of the product just gathering there. I just feel it's a very nice concept, it's a very nice idea, it's very cool, but I would say, I mean, choose any of these colours if you want the shade they are before they flip. I feel it's not really worth the trouble getting a shade only for the after flip colour. You should like it both ways, before flip and after flip. So overall, while it's a very fun concept and we love that moment when something flips from matte to glittery uh, when you press your lips together, the thing is in the end it's just a fun gimmick. No one is going to see it transform on your lips. You are either going to walk out with the matte version or you are going to go out with the glitter version and that is the final look that everyone one is going to see. So you should probably pay a little bit more attention to what final effect you want when you are choosing a colour. Of course, I also do not know if these will self-flip, you know, after eating and drinking. So, you know, if you pick the beautiful shade that doesn't look good after it flips, if you start eating, drinking, talking, and moving your lips around through the day, is it going to start going patchy and ugly looking? So that is one thing that I'm gonna have to test out and see but as of right now, I think it's a fun thing, but I wouldn't um, consider these an essential. They are not a must-buy. Get these, again, if you like the original colour before they flip, because that's when you get the most bang for your buck. Anyway, those were my quick thoughts and first impressions of the new NYX Glitter Goals liquid lipsticks and also the lip swatches. I hope you guys found it useful and enjoyed the video at least. With that said, I'll see you guys soon again. Bye.